I keep hearing there's not enough diversity in the movie business. Gender discrimination in Hollywood. Women have less screen time. Actors agree there's a problem. It's a systematic bias that needs to be addressed. Good. They're really working on diversity. Except there's one kind of diversity they never talk about. Diversity of thought. In Hollywood, it seems you have to think a certain way. First, you must sneer at capitalism. <laughs> In all these movies, capitalism is evil. In this one, greedy miners will destroy a planet to get these rocks. This is why we're here. Because this little gray rock sells for 20 million a kilo. To get the rocks, they'll kill the beautiful, spiritual natives. Those savages are threatening our whole operation. Director James Cameron's now making another Avatar movie. He says the mining company will be the villain again. Avatar 2 and 3? 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah. Movie makers are so hostile to capitalism, they butcher basic facts. In Amazon's just released season 2 of Jack Ryan, the hero asks this about Venezuela. Why is this country in the midst of one of the greatest humanitarian crises in history? Socialism? No, the show's answer is nationalism. After rising to power on a wave of nationalist pride, this guy has crippled the national economy. Nationalist pride, no mention of socialism. And of course, the savior is a social justice warrior. Gloria is a history professor turned activist. She's running against him on a social justice platform. This reverses reality. Venezuela suffers because they voted for socialism. We welcome today Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Hollywood's documentaries also celebrate the left. She's become such an icon. Do you mind signing this copy? Justice Ginsburg is impressive, but so is Justice Thomas. Would Hollywood ever praise him like this? The closest thing to a superhero I know. This love for the left frustrates the few actors who lean right. Most fear saying anything because they'd lose work. But one man dared to challenge their power, Hercules. Kevin Sorbo, who starred in the Hercules TV series, spoke up about his conservative views. What happened? All of a sudden the calls, less, less calls. My agent said, we better part ways. And I went, wow, OK. And I made a lot of money for these guys. You ask him, why do we have to pray? Oh, I knew why. They told me why. They were pretty straightforward about it. Being a Christian conservative in Hollywood is kind of a death sentence. It's like being a double leper. <laughs> I guess what it's like. What they, do you mean a double they, leper? They want nothing to do with me. He's even been banned from conventions. I turned down Sorbo. He's pals with Sean Hannity. You've been banned from Comic-Con? They have their hate, right? They're the ones who say, we need to be tolerant, we need to have love, and all those kinds of stuff. They're the most anti-tolerant people and hateful people that we have right now. So much so that even the liberal media has noticed the bias. Just the last 10 years, it's just exploded. Are you even more ruthless than you used to be? Every movie I've ever seen now, every TV show I seem to see, doesn't matter what it is, there's always some point, some place where they'll um, pretty much degrade anybody who's conservative or Republican. Here's President Bush. So we're gonna do this thing or what? I mean, is this happening? We can make this work. <laughs> Hot damn. They wanna make him dumb and as hickey as possible. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh. Did you I'm wanna sorry. Sorbo's annoyed that directors now shove women into what had been male parts. And that even superhero movies push the politically correct message. The women? are always saving the men around here. You might want to think about changing the name to X-Women. It was created as X-Men, and they had female characters in there, but that was a title. Now, we're, we're in this business now of rewriting everything. We want to rewrite history. It's not even politically correct, it's politically insane. The recent movie about the first trip to the moon leaves out the planting of the American flag. Why would the movie makers leave the flag raising out of the movie? This was widely regarded uh, in the end as a human achievement. This is a human achievement. It was a human achievement, American human achievement. Ryan, Ryan's why Canadian. Sh why they want to <laughs> sell movies in China and other places. Why shove the American flag in their face? I just think it's childish. I think it's ridiculous. Sorbo's response to Hollywood bias was to produce movies like this. Fill in the papers I've just given you with three little words. God is dead. I can't do what you want, I'm a Christian. This movie was very successful. God is Not Dead cost two million and made 60 million. Made 70. 70 in theaters. It made 140 million worldwide. His upcoming movie is about two con men who find religion. In 
In Jesus' name we pray. Other conservative and Christian movies do well too. Mel Gibson's The Passion of the Christ is America's highest grossing R-rated film ever. Many of those films are not my kind of movies, but Sorbo makes a good point. Hollywood is absurdly biased. Maybe market competition will bring some balance. Wherever there was evil, there would be Hercules. I hope you will like and share this video. And if you want to help us make more, please click that button.